what's going on guys today we're going to be taking a look at the new proline 2.2 inch mickey thompson baja pro x tire today we are running it on an axial bomber this has upgraded steering as you can see it's got a castle mamba x combo with a 3800 kv slate motor to get the introductions out of the way um, long story short holy crap there's an enormous amount of traction they are very good on the rocks and they um they're almost, they're bigger than stock tires. I'll have an image to hopefully show on screen at some point for that. They're bigger than the stock tires and there's almost too much traction. We're going to compare them to, um, as best comparison I can do, we're going to compare this, um, this black bomber to the blue bomber fab chassis one with the, the Nitto, I think they're Nitto tires on the blue one. Uh, we did same lines, same day, back to back. We're going to go back and forth to see the difference. Um, the short is at least testing these on my yard and on my ultra four track. There is an enormous amount of traction for crawling. These just have the stock foam they come in. We're creeping down the rock. And blast off because we have a brushless system in here. 3800 KB, in my opinion, is the sweet spot on these things to be able to do everything from crawling to going past and hitting jumps. Because we're going to hit some jumps later in the video. Um, now we're switching to a bomber fabrication chassis one with the um, stock tires on it to get a comparison point to try and uh, show the difference. They work very well. I suspect they're going to be a lot better than high racks in dirt, sand, snow, or anything like that just because the tread is so much meatier on the Baja Pro X. And from what I can tell about reading about the actual tire is it's supposed to be one of the better off-road tires that's ever been made with an ungodly amount of traction and that seems to be the case at the scaled down toy car version of it too. But here we are uh, creeping our way back down the back end of our calibrated uh, Test. We have a test calibration certificate for our calibrated rock there with our calibrated sticks to do our testing comparison since we're all scientific here. We're going to try a different line up the rock this time with the, the tires. We're crawling over some sticks into rock there. We're trying to line ourselves up and up we go. The uh, This bomber has a rear sway bar on it from Hot Racing which helps a lot with climbing. As you can see we're kind of going right up it there, not really slipping the tires at all on these. They work very, very well. Uh, I will say we, we did take this, the rear end of the chassis off of these, so we took the, the spare tire mounts not on them anymore because holy crap, once you take the spare tire mount off, these things climb a heck of a lot better. And that little rollover right there is why I would say is the, the one downside of these is too much of a good thing can be bad. And with these with the, the Baja Pro X tires, if you're using them in an Ultra 4 application like I am trying to, I... Uh, Holy crap, I almost think too much traction could be a bad thing with these since we'll see more of them. Um, we're going to run the same line here. You can see how now we're, with the stock tires, we're slipping a little. We'll still make it up, but we're definitely slipping a little bit. Um, I had another video in Sioux Falls with lots of cool crawling that probably isn't going to be uploaded at the time this gets posted. So if you want to see some really cool videos running these around some more technical rock sections, um, stay tuned video for that coming soon. Um, the takeaway I would have is for crawling, I would say definitely 100% get these. They work very well. I wanted something that didn't look like high racks since everybody seems to go for high racks. I went for these instead because I wanted a scale looking tread and holy crap these work well. I think they almost work, probably work better on loose ground. Uh, here's a good comparison point. We'll notice we uh, slow down with the bomber here and we start spinning our wheels. We'll, we'll see the difference switching to the um, back to the Mickey Thompson tires on our other bomber here. Uh, this is then the, the G8 compound, not the Predator compound. In case it, they, I don't know if they make these in both, but we'll see the difference. No tire slip on the on the, the G8 compound Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X tires. They work very well. These are on the stock plastic bead locks these cars come with. Since, uh, honestly, for what we're using these for, I don't know that I want to get another rim. If I got another set of rims to keep uh, the other set of tires around, I might just buy another set of stock plastic rims. Because with the brushless combos we're running in these, as we'll see switching to our Ultra 4 track, I kind of don't want to... I don't want heavy rims. I feel like if, I, if we add a bunch of weight to the rims on these, we're going to be way more likely to start blowing out driveline components for how we're driving them. I, I want to avoid heavy rotating mass on these cars. So there we go, out of the crawling section, and to the go fast section with the stock one. And this is where we'll see maybe a difference with the stock tires on some of the looser corners on my track here. I can, uh, if it starts to slide a little bit, we can bring it back and, you know, survive. If it starts to slide, we, there's some time to save it. We'll notice a very big difference shifting to the, the Baja Pro X's. I, I might need to put the, 
the front sway bar into the black one if we're running these at high speed, since we're, we'll see a very big difference once we get through the Ultra Four section again here. Since I don't think I've shown this on my channel yet, but uh, if you want to see other videos on this track, we have a different series going where I'm uh, kind of doing a discount version of Top Gear, where we're going to run a bunch of different cars around this track, both the uh, the short course way and the background there. You can see where we bypass the Ultra Four and the Ultra Four line, and we're going to try and compare a bunch of different cars in the track. This is, I think, the first time these bombers are getting shown on it. Since are, for the short course way, there is a there's a jump that goes directly over where that bomber was right there. There's a you jump the log pile with the go fast cars. I think we'll get to that in a minute. But we can see the difference with the Baja Pro X's. So there's um more traction. This little rock we kind of have to. I got hung up trying to crawl it on this since I was thinking that since these tires are a little bigger than stock, maybe I could crawl it. But nope, you got to blast off and get jump out of that rock. We'll jump out of that section, and this is where it. Uh, you can see we almost flipped there, get it up on two wheels. It's it's kind of hairy taking corners and trying to go fast on these tires since we, again, um, flipped right there. there. There's so much lateral traction on these that I'm sure is going to be, once I get to go do more technical crawling with them, I'm sure that's going to be absolutely amazing crawling stuff. Around the Ultra 4 course with how loose it is here, it's almost so much traction it makes it kind of hard to take the corners quickly because if it starts to slide it just goes over and flips immediately even with the sway bar in the rear go around for another lap and we'll see if we put it up on two wheels again this is again running a 3800 mamba x combo the mamba x is nice because you can set the uh the transmitter up to be able to turn the drag brake on and off from the transmitter so in the crawling section you can turn the drag brake on the second i get out of it oh there we go on the roof again the second we get out of it we can put it in race mode for stuff like that so the short course version of this, we'll hit that jump instead. I think we're going to run that right now with the bomber, where we take up there, we hit that jump, and then we come around that way, down the straight, into the whoop section, if we can keep it on the wheels. So, um, yeah, we'll do a last little review bit here for Ultra 4 purposes. We'll run it on the Ultra 4 track, as you can maybe see by the amount of times it's ended up on the roof so far. Uh, the potential downside of these for Ultra 4 things is you got to be very careful taking corners with it or you'll end up on the roof since there is so, so, so much traction. So hopefully this was a helpful video since I know when I, these tires just came out and when I ordered them I couldn't find anybody looking into the tires and I want to know what they were like. So if you want lots of traction, two thumbs up. If you're doing Ultra 4 stuff like this, you honestly might be better on the stock tires so you get some amount of slippage before you put it on the roof. Um, ending the video out here with another attempt at crawling that I believe ends up going wrong. Uh, check out the other channels, the other videos on this channel. We will have some more technical crawling from a bunch of rocks on a trip we went on a couple weekends ago coming up soon. There's going to be more videos comparing other cars on that track there. There should be a card for that for the playlist. And so far we have a Slash and a Tenacity DB Pro we ran around the track to compare lap times on for our little discount Top Gear series that interests you. But yeah, that's what we got for today. The video is about to end off here as I believe we flip off to humping the rock a little bit too aggressively. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.